Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Buyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition, and this is the 11th in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I will be demonstrating how to remove the water from the upper passageway. Um, that is the passageway that goes all the way around the top here, uh, around the uh, top layer of units of the Ocean Monuments maze. Uh, but if you are looking for another part of the uh, strategy in action, a link to the other videos in the series can be found in the description. Uh, so it may be that I've cleared out the water from the upper passageway as part of the, um, as part of the procedure for searching for a sponge room. Uh, but if not, I'm going to want to do that um, while I'm clearing out the water from the maze. Uh, and I'll start with either the room on the, uh, uh, either this front room on the, uh, on this side or this side. Um, there's a room or a unit with a, a access to the penthouse right up here. Um, I can reach this room by poking a hole in the floor of the penthouse if I, if I really want, um, or uh, just as part of my exploration of the maze. Um, regardless, um, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to come over here into this corner of the room, uh, right over here. There's the front of the ocean monument over here, uh, and I'm, I'm going to position myself right here. If there are any blocks that generate as part of the room, I'm going to want to break those and, and put myself right here. Uh, now, uh, the upper passageway may not actually have any accesses to it. Um, sometimes there are accesses in the floor of the upper passageway um, depending on the way in which the rooms of this middle layer of units uh, generate. Uh, I'm not going to count on that though and, and that's why I'm positioned over here in the corner because I'm going to make my own access uh, to, the, uh, to the upper passageway by breaking a couple of blocks. Um, and, and for that I need to put a door here. Um, the, if um, I have not yet cleared out this room, uh, and there could be guardians swimming around. I might want to create a little door enclosure or something like this. Um, the important thing is that there is a door on this block right here. So uh, I wouldn't want something like this. Uh, I really want a door right here. And that's because as I break these blocks, um, the upper passageway is filled with water. And as I break these blocks, the water would flow into this space if this door wasn't here. Uh, so I'm going to have the door here, and I'm going to break this block right here, and there is the upper passageway. Um, that's part of my access here. I'm going to throw down a sponge to remove some of the water, break the sponge, and then finish my access uh, to the upper passageway here. There we go. Uh, you can see that the, that sponge that I placed uh, cleared out all the water all the way over to that little corner there. Um, again, sometimes there can be breaks in the floor, um, so uh, guardians can kind of swim up through the water um, uh, and, and around in the maze, um, but um, usually that's not too much of a problem. Uh, so I'll grab some torches for some light as I clear this out, and the general rule is that I, I want to hit the highest block uh, that I see um, uh, where there's uh, uh, flowing water. So I'm going to hit this block right here. Okay. Uh, and uh, maybe put another torch down and fight the current here. Okay, right here. Now this is not necessarily the most efficient way to uh, clear out the water from uh, from this passageway, um, but it is very simple to follow as a procedure. So uh, now, as you can see, the um, the ceiling is actually one block higher, so I'm going to hit the uh, I'm going to hit it a little bit higher right there, okay. And then over here, and over here. Now th there can be a little bit of water left over, uh, in which case uh, I want to just remove that with a bucket. Uh, sometimes the sponge doesn't quite reach these recesses down here. Let me go ahead and add a couple more torches. And continuing the highest block uh, in the corner there. If I can uh, fight the current, let me step over here. There we go. Highest block. Uh, now there, there can be guardians uh, swimming around in here, so I might want to have some doors handy to uh, throw up a barrier. 
uh, or maybe use jack-o'-lanterns instead um, uh, just to get a little bit of extra light. doesn't really matter. Anything I place here, uh, I'll be cleaning up in a moment anyway. Okay, on the highest uh, block of flowing water against the side there. And over here. Let's get another torch. Now I'm going around the other side of the monument. I've finished, uh, almost finished clearing all the water and back. There's just some water source blocks in these recesses here. I'll get that in a second. Uh, finish going. Let me finish going around the side here. Highest block, and it looks like I've got a water source block over here in the corner, which I can just remove with a bucket. Um, I could also uh, hit these with torches. Um, it looks like uh, this one I can probably grab with a bucket, though. Okay, not too much of a problem. This uh, the the upper passageway on the sides is really narrow, so you have to be a little bit careful where you're where you're placing blocks, which is why I place the sponges all the way at the top. Partly, it's a, a more efficient uh, use of the sponges, but uh, also it'll, it's going to allow me access uh, to go through here. So. Um, uh, uh, so I can make it through without having to break the sponges yet. Okay, and um, this one over here looks like there's a water source block, uh, and maybe one over there. So I can just remove the rest with the bucket. Not too pro, uh, not too much of a problem. Okay, almost done here. It looks like there are two water source blocks here, maybe more than two. Uh, I could use a sponge here if I really wanted to, probably I would, um, but you can also just uh, spam torches in here and um, that will get rid of that water source. Uh, and that's it. Um, I've already uh, finished uh, removing all of the water from here. Uh, I could go ahead and uh, reclaim all my sponges now. Um, and uh, I think that uh, this is a relatively simple procedure. It does not require very many sponges, um, 15 to 20, uh, even if you uh, misplace a couple. Um, so uh, not too bad. Um, the, uh, be prepared with a bucket and some torches, just in case you need to remove some additional water on the floor, or just use a couple of extra sponges. Uh, I should have plenty of extra fuel along with me, uh, so I'm not too worried about uh, overuse of sponges. Um, and um, that, is, that is it. I'd go ahead and light this place up um, at least a little bit to prevent uh, bats from spawning in here. Again, hostile mobs can't spawn anywhere inside the volume of, uh, well, hostile mobs except guardians can't spawn anywhere inside the volume of the ocean monument. Uh, so I'm pretty good to go. Uh, from here, I would uh, be moving on to clear out other, uh, other rooms or maybe move down to the wings of the monument. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if you uh, have any questions or suggestions, please do leave a, a note in the comments. And thanks for watching.